Hi, I'm Dr. Ann Arnett. And I'm Dr. Jenny Peisch. We're both clinical psychologists and researchers at Boston Children's Hospital. And this is our video blog, Answers Through Research ADHD. In each episode, we'll discuss some research related to ADHD and talk about how you can apply those findings to your own family at home. In this episode, we'll be talking about the benefits of exercise for kids with ADHD. So before we get started talking about the research, let's talk for a minute about how exercise affects our brain functioning. Those of you at home may already recognize this, but when we exercise, we feel really good. And that's because when you exercise, it causes a burst of neurotransmitters in your brain that are feel-good neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin. Now dopamine especially is really important for supporting cognitive control and behavioral control. Dopamine is important in the neural networks that connect our frontal lobe to other areas of the brain like the striate and the amygdala. So more dopamine means more control. Now, let's talk about how exercise affects kids with ADHD. There have been several studies on the effects of exercise on behavioral control, particularly in kids with ADHD. One study by Betsy Hosa investigated the effects of a long-term exercise program in preschool age kids. So these kids completed a before school running program for 12 weeks and the kids who did the program at the end of it, their parents found that those children had better attention and behavior regulation skills than the kids who did not complete the program. Other studies have looked at the effects of acute or short-term exercise on symptoms of attention and behavioral control. And acute exercise is like 20 minutes of aerobic exercise, say the child's playing tag for 20 minutes or riding a bike or something like that. And what they found is that kids who do 20 minutes of aerobic exercise afterwards, they perform better on laboratory tasks of inhibitory control or reaction time. And not only that, when we measure brain functioning in these kids, say using EEG, we find that their neural firing is more normal after they've done the exercise, meaning it looks more like the neural firing of kids without ADHD. So overall, both long-term and short-term exercise seems to be beneficial for kids with ADHD. So Dr. Peisch, how can we use this information to support families at home? Yeah, so the research findings suggest that even short amounts of exercise, so 20 minutes, might help a kid with ADHD sustain their focus for longer periods of time or maybe better regulate their behavior. So movement breaks can be built into school plans. So um, your child's 504 or IEP plan can include things like you know, being able to get up and um, take a quick movement break. And another really important thing to keep in mind is that kids with ADHD should not have recess taken away um, as a form of punishment. Um, being able to move is really important for, for kids, especially kids with ADHD. At home, parents can also support their kids in being able to move. So before school, uh, they could maybe r ride their bike out in the yard or even ride their bike to school. Um, or before starting homework, they could engage in a quick um, physical activity to really help them regain their focus. And signing up your kid for long-term exercise, um, so soccer, um, swimming, any type of activity can be helpful too. What if kids don't want to exercise? That's a really good question. We get that a lot from parents. Um, so parents can always leverage something that's really fun for a kid, like screen time, and say, you know, use when-then statements. Like when you have completed your 20 minute of outdoor time, then you can do some screen time. Excellent. That's all for today. If you have any questions or you want to reach out to us, please use the link below. And we'll see you next time.